hey, I'm so excited to have a conversation with you about the, one of the best ways and best approaches in starting a deaf discipleship group or Bible study. I believe that this process could transform the culture within your church that caused transformation on the external to happen. And it's very simple. In the first one, we look back, we look up, and then we look forward. And looking back, we take some time to come together and hear how our week are going, um, what happened during our week, the challenges, the good that we face, and how did we obey God in the previous week of anything that he had called us to do. We take time to meditate and to worship him through that time. And that's really look back. And we want to make it really clear that we're not criticizing or trying to tear them down, but we're, we're trying to listen and hear their stories, hear their journey of what they're experiencing and taking the time to pray with them. It's more about listening than it is fixing. We allow room for the Holy Spirit to move and work. And that's the look back portion. And the second we look up, we dive into specific Bible stories and we focus on that story alone. We, we would read it twice. And then we ask five questions. And the first question we ask, what do we like about the story? What do we, what do we see that we like that really touched our heart? The second question is, what, do, what don't we like? Or what was really hard to accept within the story? The third question we ask is, what do we learn about God within the story? What do we, and the fourth question is, what do we learn about people in this story? And then the fifth question we ask is, if this story is true, and, and it is true, how does it change and shift our thinking? And these five questions we see within the context of them. We're not trying to bring the doctrines or, you know, you're wrong. No, I can we're, we're staying within these five questions, focusing on a story and, and focusing on what God is teaching. And we emphasize, again, we're allowing the Holy Spirit to do what only that he can do and to work within us, in each of us. And then the third, we look forward. We take a moment to... Uh, pray individually and to seek him and listen and ask him how can we be obedient to him what in the story are you asking us to do we think about people in our lives and we ask God who can I share this story with and then we take the time to pray and we wrap up our time we look back we look up and we look forward doing this simple method will truly transform your crew and their life. Try it.